Okay. And what we have here <clears throat> is an invocable action that makes a call out, get credit score. We can go take a look at that. And you can see it's a pretty standard uh, call to, in this case, Heroku. It's an endpoint. And we can see, if we go over here, this is not a scheduled flow. This is a regular auto launched flow. I'm calling the same action. And I'm going to run this. And we're going to see here in the Heroku log that the call gets in. So the, mo so the last call was 414. Let's run this. That's done. We go over here and 417. So if you run this call out action from a regular auto launched flow, it works great. What if you run it from a scheduled trigger? Well, let's take this and let's set this to a few minutes from now. Now I'm going to save it and activate it. And let's come back in a few minutes. Okay, we've given it an extra minute of grace, but you can see here nothing has fired. Uh, and there's also no error messages. So what we have here is a silent failure, which is not good. And the problem here, why does it work for a regular auto launched flow and not a flow triggered on schedule? has to do with an old friend that you may be familiar with, which is the platform doesn't like combining open DML transactions, open database activity with callouts. And it turns out that when a scheduled flow triggers, it opens a DML and um, there's no good way to simply tell flow, hey, close that transaction and fire this, uh, fire this Apex action and make the call out. I want to make the call out. I'm not trying to do any DML. You can see I'm not reading or writing any records. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no straightforward way to do it. So we're going to have to get a little, little tricky here. So what I'm going to do, instead of calling uh, this call out action directly, I am going to add a launch flow dynamically action. Let's call this go launch the credit score flow. And this is going to dynamically launch it. You can see we've got the flow name down here. So we're going to want to grab that. This remember, this is the auto launch flow that we verified it works and we can run it again and see that it worked again. So if we go over here, we can see that, okay, 420, good. It's running, it looks like it's running about a minute. Uh, my, my system clock uh, here on this computer is a little, a little slow. Okay, so I'm just going to take this flow name and I'm gonna put it into this launch flow on schedule. And Let's get obsessive and compulsive. Okay, now let's go and change this. Put this a few minutes into the future. Save it as a new version and activate it. Make sure you activate if you want that schedule to fire. So let's come back in a few minutes. All right, it's a couple minutes later and we go down here and look, we're in luck. It fired properly. It made the call out to Heroku at 422. So what is it that allows it to make scheduled triggers work with callout actions? Well, if you're, um, if you're uh, not interested in the coding details, you can stop here and just go and install this and use it uh, happily. Uh, the only thing you need to know uh, as an admin is that it uses a concept called future methods in Apex which essentially is basically saying to Salesforce, hey, Salesforce, you can take a little longer to fire this. You can do it when your load slows down a little um, so that you don't have to worry that uh, I'm mixing my DML with my callouts. In practice, I've never really noticed any meaningful delay. But just keep in mind that if you do see delays, uh, that's 
something that's going on in the background. Let's take a look at the code. We've actually modified launch flow dynamically. This uh, used to be called auto launch flow. And we already had it available uh, at Unofficial SF for use cases where you wanted to let users choose the next flow to run uh, from a given screen by picking flows from a list. So this can launch flows. And what it was previously doing was it was launching them immediately. What we've added is this concept of launching in the future. So there's a new Boolean called use future launch. And if you pass this in as uh, true, then instead of doing using the normal launch pathway, it calls launch future. And the only really difference here, the only real difference is this. It's a little annotation that signals to Salesforce that you're willing to trade off possible delay in exchange for being allowed uh, to dodge uh, the open transaction callout issue. So here we're saying we can do the callout. Uh, we're passing in, there's a way to pass parameters in here. You can, you can pass up to three different uh, string uh, input parameters. Uh, you can pass in a namespace and this basically is uh, what you can use to launch uh, a flow dynamically.